cost what it costs. So the people who got it, and I'm doing this video because a couple of people actually pointed this out because I'm already, I was already talking about it. So I say, you know, let me let me touch on it since you know Trump stepped up and started speaking about crypto. But you can um, you can see how he changed his stance, and that's you know it's by design. Then you have your kids involved in this in crypto, and you know uh, your your son's wife is has a huge position. Uh, it's it's something to look at. It's a big conflict of interest, and you got to go back to what Kamala Harris said: we cannot afford. I mean, they're giving you hints. We cannot afford to have Donald Trump elected as president. You know, it's like warnings, right? And it's like, pay attention. I mean, this dude is famous. He is who he is off of finance. So it really would be, you know, a no brainer to allow him to do this. But the consequences is something that we can't afford to, uh, to really, when you really get down to it, we really can't afford to deal with that if something wrong happens. Uh, then you have to look at the fact that, okay, anything replacing the dollar what is that going to do to the national debt? What is that going to do to the debt that we owe China? Okay, if we decide to like pay stuff off with crypto um, and it fails, what does that mean? You know, it's so many wild cards to this whole thing that you got to pay attention and look at as to how this can go wrong. Now, my my take on it is, again, it's going to go wrong outside of this government system. It's going to be something that get passed. It's going to be different. And then once the failure happens, then the government can step back in and say, see, now you need us to save you. And the real plan that they wanted all along can be implemented. You understand? You have to, like, to, for, for you to accept uh, a CBDC uh, that the government controls, and then they don't just want that. It's more to it. It's laws that they have to pass with that whole thing. And you got to think about that because they want control. So, okay, because we had all this scamming, all this problem with problems with crypto, and then when the, when the fall happens and then they come in with the solution, it's going to be with some prizes, some presents that we don't want, some boo-boo prizes. And it's going to be shit that says, oh, to, to regulate this thing correctly and to avoid scamming or what have you, we, we can cut people off. You know, we can make it so you can't buy or sell. Understand? Buy or sell. Understand what's happening, what I'm saying, what's taking place. Everything that's coming up that's going to be happening is going to be surrounding this money system. The wars and everything is just a part of it. And then you got to think about funding a war. If there's an issue with currency, that's tough. It's all going to be by design and it's all going to be done over a long a period of time. So, um, you know, it's something to watch for. I wanted to get into this real quick to touch on. Uh, just information I've already put out. I already told you guys where the stuff is going to be headed and what's going to happen. And um, it's right there in front of you. Uh, you know, uh, looking at Trump and him being favored right now. Uh, not just that, the people who was against him before is, is backing him. They gave you a candidate to hate. They gave you a candidate to not like. So it makes more, uh, you know, makes more sense to elect this guy and, and his policies. They're trying to make her look like a hoe. They're trying to discredit her, everything that comes with that whole thing. And it's really going to come down to me, uh, public opinion, opinion. And because it don't matter who's in there. The policy is the policy. They know the agenda and it's set already. doesn't matter. Now, they can switch from Trump to her if popular opinion is towards her. But they're, they're destroying her image. So popular opinion can be shaped towards Trump because they want you to accept who is going to be, you know, behind the downfall. And that's how it has to go, because you can say, hey, this guy's been fucking convicted. This guy has, has basically done unethical things. This guy is it's a complete fucking, you know, douchebag. And you made him your president and everything that happened is on you. This is what's coming. So pay attention. So, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to make it clear, you know, I say this to the end of the video. I want to get straight to the video. You know, a lot of people got questions about, you know, Merkaba Scholar Society and what's going on. Everything I put out, I gave you guys from the heart heartfelt understanding like you know i went through some shit i'm lucky now you know i'm out of my situation i'm good to go but you know a lot of people uh you know i i try to address even though i shouldn't and i don't have to i try to address certain concerns that maybe one or two people might bring up just in case a bunch of people might think the same thing this is not a cash grab this is not a money grab 
That's bullshit. This is real serious. And I'm putting my time and effort, and I've been showing you guys, I've been doing lives back to back, putting out way more content than I have in recent years. And I'm, I've been going live like crazy. But this is not no, no cash grab. I don't need to do such a thing. I don't have time to waste on stuff like this. Like, come on. Like I said, my fucking body of work speaks for itself. My content speaks for itself. My information speaks for itself. Just watch it and see. You see where I'm at. You see where I'm at mentally. You see where my heart is. It always been with my people. It always been with just, you know, truth. Uh, it doesn't matter what color you is. It doesn't matter where you come from or what have you. Truth is everything to me. That's all I care about and getting that out. So this is like genuine and understanding where my heart is and that it's going to be into Merkaba for Scholar Society and all my energy and everything. My efforts is going to be in this scholar society because I believe in it. I think it's cool um, seeing how it's bringing people together and seeing how a lot of people are excited about it. And I think it's good for us to have this type of uh, society's platform for us to come together and do stuff on a scholarly level and uh, share this information amongst ourselves because there's a lot of societies out there that's against us. There's a lot of societies out there that don't want to see black unity at all. They don't want to see people come together and use knowledge to benefit us. And we don't have these things. You know, people want to join some shit that's destroying them. People want to be rappers. They want to join, you know, uh, secret societies like masonry and what have you that's not for us. You got to understand something like this do not exist because people don't even fathom to create something like this. Now we're not trying to be you no know, wannabe masons or any of that stupid shit. This is something that is definitely beneficial to all of us. And um, having people, like-minded people, to come in and join us and um, have this knowledge to be able to share it to their family, their, their children, and um, that's gonna benefit us all. And we're gonna have fun while we do it, while we learn all this stuff. It's a lot of reasons for Merkaba Scholar Society, and it's not just the fact that, you know, what happened, happened. I'm about truth, and um, I'm about putting out the truth, and I'm about truthful people who understand the message and what's going on, and um, appreciating and understanding the time, you know, over a decade I've been here putting out this information and content. It's been hiccups along the way. It's been things I can't control. It's been problems, but I'm telling you, that's not me. It's not me. If you know me, you know me, you understand where I'm at. And I'm still here. I'm still putting out the information. I'm still pushing to wake people up. Again, I appreciate everybody who's been here. A lot of you guys have been here since day one. I appreciate the people who believe in me enough to join or try to join Working with Scholar Society because you guys understand what happened. It's a lot of people that send me emails saying, hey, that's fucked up the way people are talking and how people is treating you or what have you all because of some shit you can't control. And it's over something that's super simple. So again, I understand, I, I get upset when I don't get shit that I'm supposed to get. We all do, we all human. But at the end of the day, all I can do is what I can do. And I'm here, I'm trying to fix everything and everything will be fixed, as I said, I'll have my day. But um, again, for people, if anybody think this is some type of fucking cash grab or some stupid shit, it's not, I would not waste my time. I would, damn, what would be the point for the NDA? You know, that's a whole legal document. I wouldn't do all that. Have to send those out individually. You understand? Every single one. Everybody got an individual NDA. I had to send them out. It takes a lot of time. I wouldn't waste my time in doing all that if I'm just trying to put up a fucking cash grab. It's not that deep. I'm refunding people's money. You guys know who you are. A lot of people got refunds. So it's not that deep. This is something I want people who are serious to be involved in because we're going to be doing serious shit and we're going to have fun. And I don't want to be wrapped up with a bunch of fucking people that's not serious about what I've been putting out over the years plain and simple so if you join you got in i welcome you guys you guys get the welcome package make sure you memorize what's in there you'll see it the preview i showed is not the whole message i just showed the top part but there's a lot more to that that's for your eyes only uh you know memorize to create learn to create and understand it and as i said you know when we get into the first meeting i'll break down the meaning of it that's for you not to share the creed you can share but the meaning the true meaning behind it is you know it's for us only but um Appreciate you guys, you know, for sticking with me. And, you know, I love the suggestions. I love doing the lives. It's been fun. You know, I've been super animated <laughs> in those things. I am a laid back reserved person, but I, I like to be able to let loose sometimes and have fun and not be all uptight with the knowledge. You know, people just want me to be suit and tie and just uptight. It's not me. I like to have fun and at the same time educate. And I'm always professional, to be honest. 
But, um, you know, I'm never politically correct because that's bullshit, to be honest with you. Uh, I speak my mind. I say what I got to say, you know, because that way we can all understand at the end of the day. But, yeah, thank you guys for taking the time to watch and make sure you guys grab it. I'm telling you, don't want no emails. A lot of people send emails. Can you wait? Can you, I can't wait no longer. This is going to be it. So you guys have a chance now to get in. And uh, I might do a payment plan for the 500. We'll see. I might not. But it just depends. Like, I feel like this is what I'm offering or what's going to be involved. This is a cheap ass price and I should do it for a lot more as you guys will see. But I understand where people are at and it's not about money. If it was, I would have made it 500. I was getting 500 for Never Pay Again membership. I lowered it. Like if it was about money, I would have never lowered it. So it is what it is. I try to understand where people are financially. People send me emails. I don't have it. Can you wait to this day? Can I make payments? You guys, don't, you're not on my end. You don't see what I get. You guys don't understand what I go through and the type of people who I talk to. And I have to help people. That's what I'm here to do. And it's you're fortunate enough to grab it when you can grab it because of your situation. Everybody's not in your situation. So be be like, you know, come on, be understanding, have a heart uh, and just understand what people are to no fault of their own. And that's just how shit works. A lot of times it's a lot of businesses that do the same thing. And, you know, for people having a problem with it, again, you can always unfollow. You don't got to be here. A lot of people saying shit like, hey, can you stop promoting Mercury for Scholar Society? Get any videos, get straight to the information. But you guys will not go to fucking to the white man and say, hey, can you stop showing commercials before my TV show? You guys won't send them emails, but you'll send a black person that's trying to help an email saying, stop talking about, stop promoting your shit. You know, what's wrong with people? People put it in the comment section. I delete most of it. But um, it's just crazy where people mindset is. But you know, I understand all that. But for the people who may have thought that way or felt like some type of cash grab or scam or what have you, because this is in the mindset some of these people are here because y'all listen to anything that's conspiracy wise. That's why I said stop putting so much shit in your head because it's going to it's going to basically control your judgment. And then when it comes to me, you're fucking wrong. And I'll, I'll prove that. So I, I've already proven it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I'll probably see you guys in the live later on tonight. And uh, yeah, this is a lot we're going to get into with crypto. But again, watch stock market series. It's in there. All right. See you guys next video. Peace.